everybody this is Kathy from Kathy's Cars well I just wanted to show you what I've been up to uh, for the last few days making more goodies for the holidays and for gifts anyways I've been wanting to alter uh, the big binder paper clips and I went online and I saw a lot of different ones that people did and the one that I really liked was Lori C. Brooke had on that she made purses I did mine a little different, but what I did uh, copy from her was the handle on the purses. And this is what I want to show you. That is a binder clip, and that is the purse handle. Like I said, the rest I did different from Lori, but her idea for the jewelry handle, I just love it. So I made quite a few here that I wanted to share with you. I just think they're just so cute. I tried to come up with different colors. It's like a zebra pink one. <laughs> what takes the longest actually on this is just making the, the handle but the rest is very easy and you can bling them out however you want you can pick the cardstock that you want the gems that you want I try to come up with different stuff I just thought those were so cute and I'll show you this is how you use this is like the 26 gauge wire, which most of you ladies know that do uh, work with jewelry. And I think I made it, see how flexible it is? About five to six inches long. And then you put, you know, whatever color that you want, you try to balance uh, the colors out. And then at the end, you put those two little loops to hold it in. And like I said, I still have more here that I'm going to make. But these take a little more time. But like I said, they're not hard. You just fill this up. And then at the end, you curl them uh, just to tighten them. And the other thing that I found on the other channels, which a lot of people are doing, which I thought was really cute. I did two of them. I'm going to do more of these. Now, this is the paper clip where... You design the top any way you want. And then up here, this will open. And you use the top as a clip. So you can put a video, you can put a card. I just thought that was a really nifty idea. And there was a number of people that did them. Uh, this was kind of more, more of the common one that people did. And I did like a Christmas one here with a little beer and a little card but like I said you know you can always uh, put whatever you want which I thought was just really adorable I just you can go nuts with your imagination uh, trying to figure out how to do them but I just thought these were just so cute and um, like I said I plan on making more of them and what I wanted to tell you is basically and you'll see it in any of the videos a lot of people use different mediums some people paint I like the cardstock I, I do and the cardstock if you cut it two by three and a fourth I wrote that on the back and you Mod Podge all this and then you just put your paper and it sticks right on you know everybody's different I, I like to one side then put the paper to the other but, I mean, you could do the whole thing, but I just didn't want it to dry. But, see, right there, you got it. And you keep, um, if you're doing the purses, you keep these in. Because, see, when you get done with the covering, you're going to open it. And this is where you put some glue. And, see, you're going to put that side in. Oops. And this side preferably straight 
as I'm showing you, so it's not going to cooperate with me. But you get the idea. Then it glues on, and I used hot glue. And then you're able to take these off. But keep it on for a little bit, and you're going to hold it, and you're going to make sure that that stays glued. Like I say, what took me the longest was just figuring out what colors I wanted to use so I could match them with my cardstock. And then um, after you put the paper on, before you do put this on, you will mod podge this too, because it gives it a, a, an extra coat of protection. So like I said, I, I just think these are so cute. And I thank Lori very much for coming up with the handle because, you know, they're just so cute. Like you can do the front and you do the back too. I did. Um, I didn't put the same embellishments on because uh, like a purse, you know, I wanted it to have the unique front to it. So, um, but anyways, I, I just thought these things are really cool. And I'm sure a lot of you have already done them. I hadn't. So, um, you know, I was really pleased with these. So. Anyways, I hope you guys like uh, how they turned out, and I hope you could see okay. Uh, right now, my desk is a major, because oh, <laughs> I have so much stuff, and I have another video next where I made a couple other things that I'll share with you, but I just wanted to show you these because I they're really easy to do, and if you haven't done them, please go, please go do them. Um, so anyways, guys, um, thanks a lot, and I'll be back.